Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about how sometimes you get so easily lost. I mean, if you take a look, I just went, you, took you around. Sometimes you get up on mornings and it is so foggy. You don't know where to go. And that's what I feel like sometimes. Sometimes the path ahead, even though it's under my feet, is invisible to me. I have no idea. I only know if I'm going up because it's hard or if I'm going down because it's easy. But the thing is you can't get up to the tops of the mountains without going up the hard route. So yesterday I listened to a, an interesting talk that I'll link uh, with this video about um, how social media is basically professional lying. So you're, we're, we're taught from the very beginning to post only the best about ourselves and to hide everything else. And for those of us that we have resources, that is completely possible because if you, you can, you could just show that you have gone shopping to the most expensive mall or you bought yourself a new car or you're attending so, such and such school even though we just saw a giant report on how rich people just buy their way into these institutions. And the problem with that is we never actually show our failures. And so that's why I've been focusing right now on trying to do all of these good habits. But the truth is that I haven't really been doing that uh, the entire time. While I am getting out and running uh, and doing it every day, it comes literally, I snooze uh, this morning, I snoozed four times. And you know, uh, last week I intended to run every single day and I ran only twice. And that's how it works out. But the thing is, you have to do it every single day and that's what I'm learning because I don't get the, um, the privilege of being able to pay for certain things or buy a new camera. I have to work with the equipment that I have and I have to figure out how to do things the way that I do. I mean, you guys saw my house. I'm living with a house that's got a well in it. Uh, I'm, I'm living in a part of the house where I'm heating it with coal and it, you know, certainly I'm against uh, pollution and everything, but otherwise I can't be, I can't be warm and I have to kind of deal with it. And I feel like that's how the human race is. You know, we can't lie to ourselves. I don't want to come out on the other side of this and pretend like like it wasn't a incredibly difficult journey trying to build this uh, at school in Iraq. This thing is literally an impossible task. Not only do I have people telling me that it's unsafe and it's a stupid idea, but there's also people who are literally racist who are asking me what my motivations are for helping people in that part of the world. Whatever that means, like we're not all human or something like that, right? I mean, the thing is, these are people who live in the mountains, much like the community that I'm part of over here and uh, they're not defined by boundaries of countries, they're defined by their cultural heritage. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go over there, I'm trying to teach them how to access their mountains responsibly like any other first world country. And the thing is, when I'm encountering these obstacles, it's not just that, and then it, there's also the impossibility of being able to finance this whole thing and, um, and figuring out every step of the way where people are who are interested in helping and how to access those resources so that we could go. And I've got an incredible team of guys right now who are willing to participate. Uh, they are professional, they're serious, and they're motivated and ambitious, and they inspire me. And so this past week, just by working with those guys, I have been able to do probably three times as much as I normally am. And I want to share this with you because waking up and running on a morning like this, you know, it's not like I'm going to get up to the summit and I'm going to see a gorgeous mountain sunrise with beams of sunlight shooting through the trees. No, I'm probably going to run up there. It's going to be muddy and miserable and cold and nobody's going to see and I'm not going to see anything and then I'm just going to run back down. But the difference is when I start running and I got to tell you this honestly, the dopamine or the endorphins from your brain are released and you start feeling amazing. And my personal habit that I've developed, just like the other one of praising myself, is to listen to motivational speeches as I run in the morning. I've downloaded maybe four over the course of uh, five years now, and I just have them on loop. And I listen to the same exact ones. I don't have to find new ones, because every single time I listen to them, a different piece of what they're saying sinks in. And everything else kind of rattles off as I'm running and I'm just ignoring it. But that one piece sinks in and I keep repeating it in my head. In fact, there's like a, uh, a minute and 30 second uh, speech that I have where, and I'll link that below uh, as well, where I just listen to that for like an hour straight sometimes. Just because I know that's what I need to hear. 
and that's it. And it's just over and over and over. And as you're grinding and as you're pounding your head against that brick wall, this motivational speech just keeps you going because it shows you that in order to be exceptional, exceptional, in order to be exceptional, you have to do much more than what everybody else does. And that means that when you reach your limits, those are the limits of humans. Those are limits of people. Those are the limits of your friends, your family, your, your kindred. And when you reach those limits, that's when you have to push through with the mental focus. Everybody says that the body breaks down after the mind. The mind breaks down first. And that's absolutely true because I'm the guy that's snoozing the alarm. And that's the way it is. So I just want to let you know that this is like super hard. In addition to that, I don't have a traditional career where I could uh, actually expect an income or a paycheck at the end of the month. So there's all these different things that I'm trying to juggle. And then in addition to trying to live a life where I'm sustainable and traveling, I'm trying to help other people. And so I feel like this is the highest challenge in life. I welcome it, certainly. And here I am. I'm not complaining. I'm here to tell you that these are the challenges that are ahead of me and I would love to have any conversation with anybody so please feel free to shoot me a message if you are stuck up against the wall and I've got a super awesome talk coming up for you guys that you're going to be able to uh, listen to and it is like taking medicine. It tastes bad, it feels bad, but at the end you're going to realize that you've, you've needed this for the longest time. It's about procrastination. So I'm going to get back to running. Thanks for listening today and enjoy this beautiful morning in Stromowska Vizna, Poland.